And this will be a description or roadmap regarding how to use the Jewish Integrated Experiential Education Learning Activities Chart with your day or supplemental Judaic students in both formal and informal education, such as a camp experience or youth program. The Jewish Integrated Experiential Education Learning Activities Chart contains three steps. For simplicity, we'll start with selecting a Jewish text. Then we'll demonstrate how to select or create a number of different experiential learning activities for your classroom or informal educational setting. And thirdly, you will empower your students, if you choose, to create or help them create a web-based Judaic knowledge product. All of these items we will demonstrate beginning now. So for simplicity's sake, let's begin with inviting your students or your charges to look at a particular Jewish text. It can be from the Tanakh commentaries, could be a Midrash, and we've given you a web-based selection of sources for examining Judaic texts. Let's give you an example. If you will click on this particular URL, it would take you to this source right over here, Primary Jewish Sources and Resources on the Internet. And uh, there is uh, quite a bit of text that you could choose from. So that would be the first step. The second step would be to invite your students to participate in one of many different experiential learning activities that can occur in or outside of the classroom. So after examining a Judaic text, you'll, you might invite your students to make a movie or do a role play or create a song or a game or a rap or a simulation or a poster. I mean, there are just so many different kinds of experiential activities that you could invite your students to do. And the whole class doesn't have to do the same experiential activity. They can. And this is not a complete list of all experiential activities that you could do inside or outside of the classroom. This is just a sample list of activities. But let's assume for a moment you might want some of your students to create a wrap related to some Judaic text that they had studied. So you would simply click on this hyperlink, it says examples, and that would take you to different examples of Judaic raps or Bible raps that students and others have created. So let's get back to our Jewish integrated activities learning chart and get to the third step. So as a review, the first step was to, for simplicity's sake, begin with some Jewish study of text, and then create any number of activities for your students to do in terms of experiential learning activity. And the third part is the, probably the most fascinating. With this step, what you now do is you invite your students to create a web-based Judaic knowledge product. In other words, they can create a PowerPoint, which is placed on the web. They could create a video, a document. They could 
do a web camera recording, an audio file, a spreadsheet, a quiz, a screen recording, an animation. There are just many, many different things to do. So, for example, if they would want to create a screen recording, which is what I'm doing right now, and they have a PC, they would just click over here, and what they would do is they could be able to download QuickTime Player to be able to make a screen recording. If they wanted to do a QuickTime player recording by using the Mac computer, they would be clicking over here. And once they have created their screen recording, either through a, their PC or Mac, through using the QuickTime player, which is just one of the screen recording tools. There are many, many different screen recording tools that they can use. This is just one. They can upload that screen recording onto YouTube by simply clicking here and they would find out how to do that. So I have already placed the YouTube website for uploading recordings and they would you would simply uh, invite your students to upload the screen recording that they have made just as we are going to be uploading this particular screen recording on YouTube as well. So what have we said? What we have said is this demonstration or roadmap is a chart on how to implement Jewish integrated experiential educational learning activities. It involves three steps selecting a Judaic text, then making that investigation into a, some form of experiential activity, and finally making that experiential education into a web-based Judaic knowledge product. Now the truth of the matter is you don't have to start with text study. You could start with an experiential activity or you could start with a, if you have students who are interested in creating web-based uh, Judaic knowledge products, they could make a movie or an audio file or a photo album. And the last thing I want to share is step number four, which you click actually over here. Okay, and we'll click on it. And what this is, is very similar to the initial page, but this is a page where you can actually record your name and uh, the text selection in the box. So you or your students will have a chance to go and identify what kind of text they're studying, what kind of experiential activity they will be using, and also what type of web-based knowledge product they would like to make. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that this was helpful. Thank you.